this video talks through how to find missing angles when you know two sides. Now then, the first step is to label the sides either opposite, adjacent or hypotenuse. Now the hypotenuse is always the longest side opposite the right angle. So hypotenuse, hypotenuse, hypotenuse. From the first triangle, that's not given, but we give them the side opposite the angle. So that's the opposite. And we know the other side, which is next to the angle, that's called the adjacent. Right then, we then identify which of the so toa equations to use. Now, we know the opposite and the adjacent, so we use the tan equation. So tan of x is equal to opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent, or 5 twelfths. Then, to find out x, we have to do the inverse tangent function, or shift tan on the calculator, or inverse tan. So it's inverse tan of 5 twelfths. So we put that into our calculator, and we get the answer, which is 22.6 degrees. The second question, we know two different sides. Here's our angle. One of them is the hypotenuse, because it's opposite the right angle. This one here is not opposite the angle, it's therefore the adjacent. So we know the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So we identify which of the equations uses those two sides. It's the cos ratio. So cos of x is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So 4 thirteenths. So to find x, we do the inverse cos of 4 over 13. So we put that into our calculator. Inverse cos of 4 divided by 13, and we get 72.1 degrees. So the final one, here's our angle. Now that one there is the hypotenuse, and this side is opposite the angle. So that's the opposite. So opposite hypotenuse, it's the sine equation. So sine of x equals opposite over hypotenuse. So to find x, we do the inverse sine of 5 over 10, or a half. So we get x equals 30 degrees. So there we go. That is how to use sine, cos and tan to find missing angles.